Hey, and welcome to Vinyl Albums That I Love and Inspire Me, part 53. We're still going, this is episode 53, and up first, this is John Mayles Blues Breakers live in concert. This was recorded uh, sometime in the 80s with uh, Walter Trout on guitar, and of course, Kokomo Tire in 1988. Somebody's acting like a child, rolling with the blues, Parchment Farm, Stepping Out, Have You Heard, etc. John Mayle, of course, is a stalwart of the uh, British blues, and to be a guitar player in John Mayle's band is uh, very prestigious indeed. And this is the 80s lineup, as I say, with Coco Montoya and Walter Trout. Of course, both went on to have big solo careers, and uh, this is John Mayle Live, and it's a cool album. It's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of John Mayle and the Blues Breakers, of course, in their many incarnations. Up next, this is called Checking It Out by the Blues and Monica player Billy by Arnold. This features Tony McPhee from the Ground Dogs on guitar. It's on the Red Lightning label and a Dirty Mother for ya. Don't stay out all night, ride in the EL. Wish you would. El Dorado Cadillac. Even the Christmas blues at Christmas time. Really good blues and Monica playing. Check out the early Billy by Arnold stuff and the later Billy by Arnold stuff. It's great. Next we got Candy, the course this is Vintage Heat, which features Spoonful, Big Road Blues, Rolling and Tumbling, Got My Mojo Working, Dimples. There's another version, but well, there's a version of uh, Rolling and Tumbling on here with a moniker. Of course, Alan Blind Owl Wilson was a massive blues fan and blues 78 collector. And I thought he was super authentic and the Bob the Bay height singing. I've seen a lineup of Candy. A few years ago in Cardiff, obviously without Al Wilson and, and the Bay. The original drummer was on drums. But it was a good night, and this is Vintage Eat by Can't Eat. This is Robin Trower with the Bridge of Size. Good blues rock guitar playing from Robin Trower. This has got the Daily Eagle on it, Bridge of Size, Two Rolling Stones. I'd say Daily Eagle and Two Rolling Stones are my two favourite uh, songs by um, Robin Trower. And this uh, record is also signed from when I seen him in Cardiff, so it's a little bit of a memorabilia thing as well on that. Up next, this is the Ground Dogs with Black Diamond, of course, Tony McPhee. This is when the Ground Dogs went to a four-piece. What's on this is his cool country blues, of course, which is like a Muddy Water style thing. Your Love Keeps Me Alive. Pastoral Future, Black Diamond is on this. It's more the rocky side rather than the blues side of the Ground Dogs. But nevertheless, it's a good album, and there's Tony on the front with his uh, Gibson SG. Bit of George Farragut and the Destroyers. This is better than the rest. This is a nice uh, compilation. I'm ready. I'm looking for my darling in the night time. Chuck Berry's Nadine. Eddie Cochran, my way. Worried about my baby. You're going to miss me. I mean, I love the way Farragut does his own take on the classic chess, rock and roll and blues. You know, Chuck Berry... Bo Diddley, Muddy Waters, etc. Another group, and I've seen them in Cardiff as well, and that was just a, a super cool gig there. A nice great assist, this is more Bob Dylan's great assist, this is classic combination, really, watching the river flow, Lay Lady Lay, My Black Pages, which is a personal favourite of mine, possibly 4th Street, Our Range, Gonna Fall, New Morning, Just Like Tom Fan Blues. I love Neil Young doing Just Like Tom Fan Blues at the 30th anniversary concert as well. I mean, it's classic Dylan. There's not much really you can say about it. This is the Jimi Hendrix album. This is like a, a sort of a cheaper compilation on the contour label. There's some good stuff on you. Blue Suede Shoes is on you. Burning Desire, Uchi Coochie Man. Have you ever been to Electric Ladyland? One of the greatest guitar players of all time. And songwriters, without a doubt, Jimi Hendrix. This is the weekly Neil Young. This is Neil Young Lucky 13, which is sort of a compilation of his more um, 80s stuff. So Sample and Old is on this. It Be Dream, Round the World, Mid-East Vacation, which are on the album Life. Um... Transformer Man of Trans on this is just a good it's a, it's a Dutch press it is of some Neil Young stuff that he did in the 80s. There's a bit of a compilation theme seems to be flowing now through today's video. Richard Blackmore is a really cool guitar player. 
There's a country influence in his playing. This is Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Quite heavy for me, but Man of Silver Mountain. Cats the Rainbow, Snake Charmer, 16th Century Green Sleeves. Still I'm Sad. Really good Richie Blackmore stuff. I mean, he's a top, top guitar player. There he is, and I mean, I mean, listen to his stuff in the 60s. Pre Deep Purple is great as well. Some cool songwriting stuff. This is Tom T. Hall with Old T's in Town. Tom T. Hall, of course, wrote Wash My Face in the Morning Dew. Last country song, Old Abyss Diard, different feeling. Greed kills, greed kills more people than whiskey. It's probably true. The old side of town. Just good old Tom T. Old country sort of singer song writer sort of stuff in that Mill Agard sort of vein. This is a nice guitar instrumental album. Jerry McNish plays the Firebirds. This is an American press and they do Fireball and uh, Panic Button, Tough Enough, Banded, Bulldog, Gunshot. Just really nice Stratocaster esque. Instrumental guitar. And I think it was recorded at Norman Petty Studio, of course, who recorded and done all the stuff with um, Buddy Ollie. Mo Lloyd Green, one of the greatest uh, steel players of all time. This is the hit sounds, Touch My Heart, Loving Machine, Motel Time Again, Seven Days of Crying, Pedal Paddle. I would listen to that, that's a really good one, that is. Strangers, <laughs> Green Strings. Love the photo of uh, Lloyd Green on the back. Really, really good. And this is on the uh, LD, which is a little darling label, which I've never seen before. Bit of Floyd. This, of course, is Metal. Which features one of these days. Echoes is on this as well. Really, really good album. Love Floyd, Gilmore, Roger Waters, Richard Wright, Nick Mason. Classic album, really metal. Which I believe was brought out 50 years ago this year as well. Some new purchases. Uh, this is John Leucca. Plays, plays and sings the blues on the chess label. The Journey, Don't Want Your Money, Hey Baby. Madman Blues, of course, which Dr. Feelgood played. The Lonely Boy Boogie. It's just John Lee and his guitar. I absolutely love it. It's on the British chess label, as you can see. Pick these up off, this, off the same uh, same collection. This one intrigued me. It's John Lee on stacks. John Lee up there on stacks. And there's some great stuff on this. Teaching the Blues, Going to Louisiana, Slow and Easy, Feel So Bad, Grinder Man, Please Don't Go. It's just so cool to see John Lee Hooker on the wonderful Stax label, you know, along with people like Booker T, etc. And the last uh, John Lee Hooker one from that uh, little job lot, the John Lees. This is on the American Crown label, as you can see. And this is the folk blues of John Lee Hooker. And it features tracks like Baby, I'm Gonna Miss You, Shake, Holler and Run, Gonna Boogie, Rock House Boogie. He loves to boogie, does John Lee. Just really nice stuff on the Crown label. I love these at the Crown label. As I do chess and stacks. This is next one is um Dwayne Eddy's first album. Have twenty guitar will travel. Have guitar will travel is a good motto for any musician, and it's got uh, Rebel Rouser on it. Ramrod, moving and grooving, loving you. I almost lost my mind. And this is on the Purple London label. And look, Dwayne Eddy looking really young on the front there. Classic guitar instrumentals. Another big Joe Turner compilation. Every day I have the blues. This has got uh, Early One Morning on it. Flip Flop and Fly. Annie Ash. TV Mama. The Chicken and the Oak. Write Me a Letter. Just absolutely brilliant. It's a Dutch Joe Turner compilation. And last but not least for episode 53, this is Pee Wee Creighton, After I Was Boogie, inspired people like Junior Watson. This is some early stuff from Pee Wee. I think it's from 1946 to 1950 something. After Our Blues, Don't Ever Fall In Love, Pee Wee's Op, 
tall after hours. The telephone is ringing. Mine was just ringing then. You probably heard in the background. Look up on there. This is early good jump blue stuff by the one and only Pee Wee Creighton. So there we are. This episode 53. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And catch you next Wednesday for episode 54. Cheers. <laughs>